So today we're taking a look at some GoPro footage and how I go about color grading it and processing it in post. We've got a few clips here from the last month or so. Um, we've got a couple on a fairly cloudy, dark day. We've got a clip from a sunnier day and then also a hyperlapse here at the end too. I'm gonna go ahead and put my GoPro recording settings up here and you guys can pause the video and take a look. I find these settings give a really good balanced and neutral style of footage, a blank canvas if you will, which I can then go and edit in post. I find that recording with GoPro Color on gives a really oversaturated and vivid footage, especially in the blue, which may or may not be to your style, but if you record with it on and you want to go change it afterwards, it can be a little bit hard to adjust. So let's get started. We've imported the clips into Premiere and we've got the adjustment layers on top, which we've clicked on. In the colors tab, we've got the RGB curves up. And then on the other side, I've got my, my Lumetri scopes with the parade and waveform up. First things first, we're gonna fiddle with the RGB curve to give this a little bit more contrast. So we'll start up at the top here and push the highlights up a little bit and then take the shadows and drop them down. And you can see already we've got a lot more contrast in our image, which is good. And if you take a look at the Lumetri scopes, if I toggle this on and off, you can tell that we're now covering a lot more of the scope. At this point here, I might just bump up the saturation slightly. We don't want to make it too crazy, but something about 120 is good. And we'll take a look through the footage it's looking a lot better and already I'm really, really happy with this. Looking at my buddy Sam over here, the red and the orange is definitely popping out of his jacket and his helmet, but it's not too oversaturated. And I'll show you the before and after here without any color grading and with color grading. Right, so onto the next clip here and you'll see that we've got just a little bit of skiing through some trees. I've gone ahead and dragged the first adjustment layer that we made over this next clip. Take a look at the footage now and tell me what you think. It's not quite right. The contrast is definitely better, but with the lighting conditions on that day being different, that first adjustment layer that we've made has given this footage a little bit of a yellow tinge. Let's start from scratch and see where we arrive to. So first things first again, we're gonna head over to the Curves tab and give the image a little bit more contrast. Already that's looking significantly better. Keep your eye on the Lumetri Scopes tab over here and as I toggle it on and off, you can see we're covering a much bigger range and we've stretched the color profile nicely and still an even spread. For me now, the footage is looking almost perfect. The one thing I would just tweak slightly is under the basic corrections tab, we'll probably just add a little bit more saturation in. That way we get a little bit more of the green and the brown from the trees and it makes the image look a little bit less monochrome and flat. And you can see now if we toggle the adjustment on and off, we've kind of removed a lot of that gray haze looking from the footage and made all the colors a little bit more vibrant, given a bit more pop and a lot more contrast. So it's looking good. Okay, so then finally we've got this hyperlapse to look at. Now you can already tell from the Lumetri scopes, there isn't a huge amount of work that we need to do here. We've already got a pretty good color spread. We're just gonna go ahead in the curves and do a tiny little bit of a boost to the highlights. And just add in a little, little touch of contrast, only needs a tiny bit. So you can tell at the bottom here that we've started to lose a little bit of detail in the shadows. So what we're gonna do is head over to the basics corrections tab and in the shadows, just bump that up a little bit. At the same time, the highlights, we can probably bring down just a touch as well. We wanna make sure that we've got a good spread, but without touching either at the 100 or zero level. In general, the footage temperature is all right. It's maybe a touch warm, so we can just cool that down a little bit. 
And then one other thing I noticed when looking at this footage is it looks really, really sharp. You've got all the lines on the floor on the piece and also the trees against the sky just look a little bit overly sharp. So in the creative tab, we can go ahead and drop the sharpness down a little bit to give the image a bit of a softer feel. And you can see in the before and after, we just made some subtle, small improvements to this footage. So the take home message is really to record your GoPro footage in a flat color profile with low sharpness. And then when you import it into your video editing software, to really have a look at the data and see what your footage needs. Don't be afraid to play around with the controls. You can always undo it later and give your footage a really nice, unique style. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, take care and I'll catch you in the next one.